Well, hello, everybody. I am Debbie Gentry, uh, Miss Glendale Plus 2017. I'd like to welcome everyone to my page and uh, wherever you are, like and share, you know. Um, I my platform all of this is really really new to me i'm excited to be miss glendale 2017 i'm excited about what the new year is going to bring i am really nervous <laughs> however i'm a character god made me a character so we're gonna keep on uh keeping on and thank you for following me um uh i i chose the platform um domestic violence because I've been here. I've been there in uh, a domestic violence situation. And I wanted to come on and, you know, let you guys know a little bit about me as I go through this journey right here that I'm excited to go through. And I'm excited to um, have you guys with me, your support and prayers and everything like such. Okay. <laughs> so, um, some of you all may not know me and some of you do. I, I drive charter buses, so I roll around the cities and states in town and out of town. So you might see me driving a, a big bus that seats 54 passengers and I'm out there. <laughs> I got to make a living. <laughs> so uh, that's one thing that I do. Um, also, uh, I was married for 22 years before and um, was the marriage perfect? No. Uh, but he and I are, you know, still friends. We have fake kids and everything and so and grandkids. So we we um, we keep a cordial, uh, you know, we keep it cordial. However, let me um, explain how I went through the uh, traumatic domestic violence and and which I chose the awareness of domestic violence because a lot of people uh, stay silent to it and you you don't need to stay silent to it and it's not healthy none the least um, if you can you know find the support and help and family and friends don't turn your backs um, I'm gonna go into a lot of that because um, I'm just going to share with you um, my situation and if you and and how I came out of it and now standing before you as Miss Glendale 2017 plus <laughs> model so wow you know this is uh truly a blessing for me to be here like for real you know I, I thought my life was going to end so and I'm sure some of you all that are going through that situation may feel the same way I mean whether you're a man woman you know it it happens and it's sad to say but you know you don't need to keep silent about it you really don't um well if you notice on my neck, uh, this is, I actually kind of wear my story. People don't know I do, but I, I kind of wear my story. Um, my son was decapitated by a train at, when he was 20. Um, my daughter was shot three times from a guy that, you know, wouldn't let her go. And I'm going to have her on to share her story with me. Um, as I go through this journey, she is alive and well and, um, praise God for that. And then, um, my, I had lost my father. So, um, a lot of, and I went through the divorce, loss of father, um, my, uh, son decapitated then my daughter uh shot um so it was a uh, episodes you know that occurred and i ran into the arms of the first man <laughs> that showed me affection because I got married at a young age. So I wasn't used to the whole dating scene or anything like that. I was new to it all. I'm not new anymore. Girl and picked up some things, some bad habits and so forth. So we ain't not going to go there because it's not really about that. <laughs> but I had to turn some things around and, and get my life in, in order. So am I perfect? No, 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 no. I, I don't know anyone that is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can change your situation around. And um, I, I ran into the arms of the first man that um, showed me affection. And in that whole episode, um, I was beaten. I was 
beaten for two and a half years. <laughs> and people say, well, why didn't you get out of that relationship? Why didn't you just leave? Why are you there? You know, it's not as easy as people uh, may think it is to, to, to leave a situation. It's um, mindset wise, spirit wise, uh, just everything plays a part for you to be ready to leave that situation. Um, for me, it was very, very, um, traumatic. It really was. Um, here I come from, um, being involved in the community events and, and, and even having my own radio program and, and, you know, singing and, and choreographing, you know, um, kids and all kinds of stuff, just, just, just all kinds of stuff. And to this, and, um, I remember like when I would, you know, go out and minister and, and you all, I'm not perfect. Please don't think I am. Please do not put me in a perfect category. Cause I'm going to disappoint you. <laughs> I'm just me. I'm just me trying to make it through, you know, um, through life. You know what I mean? Through life. And uh, and I remember, you know, some of the events that I would attend, it would be young ladies that would come up to me and say, well, you know, I'm going through this and 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 I would I would pray with them. You know what I mean? And um, I, I really didn't know a lot about the situation in which they were coming to me. And I felt like. Um, what, what I went through helped me to understand a little better. And so th this is the reason why I chose, uh, my platform to be, uh, to bring awareness to domestic violence because it's real and it's 2017 and, and it's again, the couples that are experiencing this are getting younger and younger and younger. And if you look at the um, youth of today, um, not all of them, because some of them is like, no, <laughs> but um, they're learning from the generation before and the generation before that. And, and some of them are, is, is, is bad, you know? So if we can, you know, open up the doors to be able to speak on it, to get the help you need, then let's do so. You know what I mean? Let's not sit idly by. I think I saw a picture that was posted up on, uh, the Facebook and it was this guy walking past with this face on him because a lady and a man was fighting and he was saying it was none of his business. And I saw people commenting like, Oh, he funny. No, the, what was going on in the back was not funny. There was a guy and a woman fighting. You know what I mean? That's not, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. So, you know, we can bring awareness. Let's bring awareness. Anyway, let me talk to you back because I will jump all over the place with conversations. Really, I will. But uh, if you look, when I went through the uh, two and a half year of abuse, I mean, physical mentally spiritually like there was times that I could not even go to church you know and that was the thing I, I you know every Sunday visit hey I'm in church I, I, hey hey <laughs> and it was difficult but you know what I did not take God off like a jacket like wherever I went whether it's wherever I be whether it's good or bad God is with me um I do not Take him off like a jacket. Okay, God, here I'm gonna take the jacket. Hey, you up right here? I'll be back. No, if I wherever I am is where I be is where God is with me. You understand? So um, when I went through the twenty, when I went through the twenty two year divorce, it, it it devastated me because you know who wants to be divorced? You know what I mean? You want to be married for the rest of your life, and that's what I thought. Good, bad, or indifferent. So I was in that relationship to stay there, and um, it 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 happened. So. I go on and I marry this abusive man because my mental is, I want to be married. <laughs> I mean, that was like everything in me because that was all really I knew, you know what I mean? And so I, when I went through the two and a half years of mental abuse, physical abuse, I mean, choking, I mean, bloodshot eyes, big lips, everything, my face just looked, did not look like me at all. Um, I brought myself a reward and, um, this right here, the, the heart right here, I brought myself this heart right here. If you look at it, because it was my strength, you know what I mean? It was my strength and, and 
through the help of God in Jesus name, I made it out. And, um, and I wanted to reward myself. I had never had my own apartment before. And I had finally had my first apartment by myself. <laughs> so, um, everything started to change for me. So I brought myself that this right here is a, uh, it's a train. Cause you know, my son was decapitated by a train. So, and I, I actually, um, when I lost my son, it was, it was very difficult. I went through, you know, cause it was my only son, you know what I mean? Um, however, when I think about my son, you know, we don't like the way people go. We don't, we don't like the way people leave, but everyone has to go. Okay. Everyone has to go. And it's the ones that's left behind that feels the brunt of it. So, um, I always tell my son, look here. You know what mama like, help hook her mansion up. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm able to still smile and everything. God, get the glory. And my daughter gave me that right there. But if you look very carefully, you see that right there? That is a scar from my abuse. It was it was longer than that, you know. Um, and I like to call it my metal. It's my medal of honor because I, 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 I made it out. I stood up for myself. I said enough was enough. I got out of that relationship. Although it took longer than what it, what it should have taken, um, but I made it out. And I was able to utilize um, some of the resources that was around me. I went to the courthouse. I got restraining orders, standing there before the judge with big lips, big eyes, bloodshot, just, just looking, not me at all. And, um, and pretty soon I'm going to, you know, share a, a lot more of my story with you guys, but I just wanted to touch bases to let you know who I am because, um, I'm, I'm very thankful for where I am and where I'm headed. You know, it's a blessing for me. Um, I, I, I remember getting several, several order of protections, <laughs> but still allowing him to come back. I know, shame, shame, shame. But you know, we do that. We do. And um we learn and it's a learning process, I kid you not. Um also um I filed my own divorce, you know, when I said enough was enough. And I have a friend of mine that, that was a process server and I was like, Hey, I called him up really quickly. <laughs> I said, how much you charge me? Okay, get here. Now we're going to do this, right? Fit, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And that trumped the uh, order protections that I was getting. You know what I mean? I also went and sat in, in in domestic violence classes, you know, to find out more, to see. I, did, I didn't continue. I was really, in, it was, it's, it, you, you know, you could kind of go through an embarrassing stage, Um However, it is doable because you listen to other people's stories that they have gone through and um, you realize that you're not the only one and you get that piece of strength to stand up. But your accuser would knock you right back down. You know what I mean? Because you you gave up power to them and you don't have to do that. You know, you don't have to do that. You can um, you don't have to do that. You give up so much of yourself because of for the sake of love. When um, love don't hurt like that, it doesn't. Love does not hurt. Love is love. The greatest love of all is the love of God. And you don't need to do that to yourself. You really don't. And I know it's easy for other people to say, um, but you can come up out of it. You can make a difference in your life. You can make a new start. You really can. And loved ones, you know, I, I've had loved ones that went, that it was so horrific for them to see me go through that, that they thought the best thing for them to do was because I, they thought I wasn't listening, but actually I was, but it was just a difficult transition to make for me, which I thought it was. And so they got to the point to where they were like, yeah, we didn't told her enough. We know I'm not going to be around it. If he, if he's going to be there, I'm not going to be. Around. Let me explain to you all. That is a no, no. Don't do that to your loved one. And, and my, 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 the people, they didn't, my family and friends, they didn't know that that was, you know, a no, no, you know, don't do that because what it does is it gives your accuser more power to be able to do even more to you 
You know what I mean? Because they think, okay, you don't have nobody love you. You don't have nobody around you. Okay, you know. No, don't do that. Be 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 vigilant. Be be in that person face in that person's you know vicinity. Be in there. You know what I mean? Show your support. Show yourself. You know what I mean? Because it gives them less time to be able to hurt the loved one that you love. You know what I mean? And these are just some of the examples. And I'm only speaking of from what I've endured. I can't give you all the answers to that because. I didn't know all the answers to that. I can only give to you what I have learned and what I have come through. Because every day is a learning experience. You go through your learning experiences. That's all I can give you is what I've learned, what helped me. And also, I've learned, um, I, I've read books. <laughs> I've read books. And, and I, I want to share these books with you guys and share with you what I've learned, what I've read by reading some of these books with you, because sometimes like me, I'm a visual person. Like even, uh, what I've gone through, um, it affects, you know, some of the relationships that I, you know, tend to open up to my life. You know what I mean? Cause now I'm about, you know, people have to show me action and it has to be positive actions or I'll sit and watch. And then if I see that you're, you know, not, who I believe you to be, I will sit and watch and then I'll, you know, distance myself. <laughs> uh, I, you know, just watch you just tear the tear, whatever it is that you're trying to build with me. I just watch you just like tear it down. Like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't because if you're going to be honest with someone, be honest with them, be true to them. You know what I mean? What you can and what you cannot do. You know what I mean? Don't, don't lead a person on. Don't, don't allow them to look at you one way and you're showing them something else. No. Um, but also, um, in that relationship and I will go deeper in my relationship, especially when, um, I get to the point to where I get to, uh, speak because I really want to speak to um, people that, you know, have gone through or are going through domestic violence to bring the awareness that they can speak up, you know. So um, I look forward to some of the places to be able to speak, to share. Um, also, um, I wanted to share this book right here. It's called uh, Love and Respect. They're like the two signs that a man look for and a woman look for in a relationship to help you guys kind of, you know, build up and bring awareness to that. Do you know that uh, women's, as women's, we love, well, I I'll say two counterparts because, you know, you you're two counterparts. One, look at love and desire that love from you. The other looks at respect. Now, in this book, it talks about um, women, we love love, and men love respect. And men look at love the same way they look at respect. So, to, for a man, excuse me, the level of respect is the same thing as love, okay? It's the same thing as love absolute same thing love and respect is on the same level from from you know so you have to be able to demonstrate both of those in order to be able to um go forth on that okay so um i will come back to you guys but i just wanted to give a little insight as to who i am what i'm doing i am bringing domestic violence awareness okay i am debbie gentry <laughs> hi uh miss glendale plus 2017 so look for me support me like share because um and if you know someone that's experiencing domestic violence please you know, share the information that I have on there. There's hotlines on there. Look on the page. There's a hotline you can contact so that they can be around other people so that they can know that they can come up out of that. Look, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. I'm telling you, I remember a time that I was being choked out, that I passed out. You understand? And it was by the grace of God that I woke back up from that. I remember 
being beaten so bad sleep. Now I, I'm going to share a couple of stories with you guys. I remember being sleep and, and I remember praying the, the nights before to go to sleep. God, please help me go to sleep in Jesus name. Please let me go to sleep in the name of Jesus. Really, really praying to go to sleep so that I was not awake when this man started in. You understand what I'm saying? I was praying to God that I would sleep. But I remember one one morning I was knocked out sleep. Okay. I had prayed so hard to go to sleep and I finally went to sleep and I woke up to the mattress being picked up and me being flipped over onto the floor and him screaming, where's my money? I'm like, what money are you talking about? Because he used to drink profusely. I mean, literally. And I'm like, what money are you talking about? I have no idea what money. I don't know anything about no money. No, you took my money. I don't know what money you're speaking of. I don't know what money. And he was serious because he thought that I had taken his money, which I didn't. He flipped over the mattress, flipped me over, picked something up and threw it at me, kind of bust my head a little bit. And I'm serious as a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, I don't know what money you're talking about. I will help you find whatever you're looking for. I don't have it. You have it. It was a big argument. Then I remember being choked out, punched. And I remember my eye being swollen. I couldn't move. I had to lay right there next to him, lay right there next to him as I cried and everything was choked out and, and he would not let me move. Then uh, we just so happened to have SRP and SRP, I t- kid y'all not, saved my life. <laughs> I believe SRP saved my life because, um, let me tell you, the lights had went out because, you know, they got that pay as you go box. So the lights went out. We had to go pay to put lights on. OK, so I was like, he's like, you're going with me. And I was like, OK, so I was like, I'm, I'm, I got on my bike. He's like, no, you're not taking a bike. I'm like, I just I just want to exercise. I have my glasses on everything. I'm looking all like beat up. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, I just want to ride my bike and get some exercise in. So I went outside while he was in the house getting preparing and I just started driving driving in a circle, riding my bike in a circle. And he was like, you know, every once in a while watching me, you know, ride my bike in a circle. Mentally, in my mind, I'm thinking like, I need to pick up some momentum because I need to get up out of here. And I'm riding in a circle, riding in a circle. Once I got that momentum, I took off. He saw me take off. He started running through the apartments and the apartments, let me tell you guys, they knew everything that was going on in that place, but it was up for me to stand up and they watch and they would get upset about what was going on. And they did not like this man because they could tell who I was and who he was, the type of persons, people we were. So I took off through the apartments and he took off through the apartments and I, I just, I jetted cause, cause you know, uh, I, there's other stories that entail to that, but I jetted, you understand me? I was gone. I was booking. <laughs> I can smile about it now and I thank God that I can smile about it now because that was not funny at the time, but I made it through. If I can make it through, you can make it through too. I made it through. You understand me? And then as I'm writing, I'm like, I got to get to the courthouse, get this restraining order. I'm I'm done and enough is enough. I got to get to this courthouse. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm writing. Next thing I know, I see this white truck pulls up alongside of me. And I'm, I'm not thinking, you know, because now I done slowed down momentum. I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. He jumps out of the truck. Oh, my God. And I'm, I'm like, oh, my God. God. Yes. You see the eyes. You see him. I was like, I was so petrified. And I was like, I was, I was so petrified, scared and everything like this man got me. You know what I mean? It's finna go down. And I'm like, let me go before I scream. He's trying to grab my bike and I'm like, let it go. And I'm like getting out in the middle of the streets. Cause you know, if, if, if you're being beaten, you, and you're tired and fed up and, and, and this person's like not listening, you get somewhere to where people can notice you. And I got in the middle of that street. And I said, if you do not let me go, I'm going to scream. I'm going to have someone call the police. I was serious. I was dead on serious. But now you got to remember, I kept allowing this to happen to me. I kept allowing this man back into my life.
I really can. I'm one of, I, I am one of those people and you will notice about me. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I do. I want my, you can tell if I'm happy, sad, elated, whatever. And I tell people this, you can tell because I wear my heart on my sleeve. So I got in the middle of the streets and I saw people, I was like, people were driving past looking. I'm like, call the police. And he's like, stop. And I'm like, no, call the police, call them, call them. I'm like, I am done. And so, um, he finally let go because somebody pulled over and they was, I was like, they finna call the police. I took off and I went straight to, uh, Glendale, um, courts. I went straight there. Y'all, it was so bad. The judges knew me when I walked in that door and, and they wanted it to be over with me. But like I said, it takes the person in you for it to be over. And although they supported me 100% because you, you couldn't help but see the bruises all over me. And I kept fighting you guys. I lost two jobs. I was, I was holding down two jobs when, when I met this man, I was a, a school bus driver and I was a, a, a charter bus driver. Exactly what I do now, driving in and out of state, dealing with people, you know what I mean? And I lost both of those jobs because I couldn't make it to work because my, my face, like I said, dealing with the public, who wants to see an abuser face? Uh, my school bus driving job, there was times that I would wear glasses and, and my lip be big, a pile of makeup on so you could not see the bruises, you understand? But they knew, they knew. And those that care so much about me would, would try to talk to me as best they could. I remember this one lady, I'll share her with you. Y'all, my story is huge, but, uh, you know, and they were trying so hard to help me with the, with the company that I used to work for. I I'm excited. I can't wait to share with a lot of people as to Look at me now. Look what God has done for me. And and I'm tearing up now. I'm not going to let you guys see me cry. Maybe, maybe I will, but I'm tearing up now because I'm so amazed at where God has brought me from. You do not understand. And it is such a blessing in my life what God continues to do for me and show me. You know, if you just put him first, if you just lean not on your own understanding, but the understanding, faith, trust, and belief in him, you know what I mean? Because we all need something to stand for, or you will fall for anything. And I fell for the okie doke. I did. Because love doesn't hurt like that, you guys. It doesn't. Someone say you love them, they that they love you, and you love them. Love is beautiful. It really, really is. Love is beautiful. However, you must not put yourself through that. You know what I mean? Don't do that to yourself. Even the abuser. I, I know you do not want to go around hurting someone that you say you love. You said you love them. Don't hurt them. You said you love them. Don't hurt them. You know what I mean? I know. Uh, but I had gotten that restraining order and... uh I, I made it through. I made it through. It's it's amazing for me. And um and I will continue to share my story with you all, but you know, I wanted to give you guys a little taste, you know, of, of who I am, what I've come through. I'm not I didn't just pick something that I knew nothing about. I, I picked something that was very dear to me. I had always said that um my story was gonna be told. I didn't realize it was gonna be on this platform. <laughs> <laughs> what a platform, right? <laughs> what uh yeah. So this this domestic violence awareness that I am bringing to you all. Um I'm bringing truth. I'm bringing real. I'm bringing me. Now, I'm new to this. Now, I may I I don't know how how all of this work. I really don't. But um I want to take you guys on this journey with me, you know, photo shoots and, and, and whatever else this is, whatever else. I don't know what this is, but I am excited to be Miss Glendale. Okay. So, uh, welcome to my journey, you know, like share, you know, um, Enjoy the ride with me because I'm excited you guys are here with me and I'm excited to share this with you guys. Okay, well, I am going to end because I got some things to do today and um, and I will, you know, try to y'all got me in tears. <laughs> I will try and uh, 
connect up with you guys with videos and, and read some of the books that, um, with you guys, share some of the books that, that helped me through, you know, I, and, and uh, if you guys can, you know, we can read together, you know, go get some of the books because if you read about love, you're sewing it into you. And this is help you is this one here is called, uh, love and respect. We're going to go over that book. Um, the, uh, five love languages. I love this book too. And we're also going to go over his needs her needs okay so just to give you guys a little heads up I got those books ready so yes we're gonna be you're gonna be a nerd with me <laughs> so uh, thank you guys um, I look forward to uh, this journey with you all okay love you Mwah. talk to you guys later <laughs>